guys welcome back i hope all is well and everyone's having a great day i am super super excited to bring this video to you this is the new castle art pastel tint colored pencils um right now they only come in the 48 set i am super excited let's open these pencils let's take a look and i know i promised <laughs> I promised I would not buy another pastel, a set of pastel pencils. Well, it happened, and I'm gonna bring you down. I'm moving the light so you can see without any glare these pencils. This case is beautiful. The color is beautiful. Um, they are wax-based pencils, which. I love, because I'm a wax girl, I love the wax pencils. Um, I'm just super excited, because you guys know how I feel about pastel colored anything. So let's open these. We're going to swatch all 48. Yes, honey. I have not seen these anywhere. I am super excited. Super, super, super we're going to turn it over and take a look at the beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful. A lot of skin tones. Light browns and really a lot of light skin tones. So if you are a portrait person, just from the color up, colors on the back, this will be a great set. But let's check it out. Okay, a nice hinged tan. You know, you got all your million pamphlets. I'm not going to show you all those pamphlets. Oh, and I can smell them already. A really nice, I'm going to show you the tin, but this paper is thick. I mean, this is the thickest swatch card I've ever seen. This is really, this is a nice swatch card because it's thick. Really cool. A nice big pamphlet about the pencils. Um, a really nice book. It tells you a little bit of everything in this book about the pencils. That's I find that really cool. There is four total pamphlets in this set of pencils. Oh my gosh, look at them. Okay, before we take a look, I just want to show you the colors that's in the top of the tin. Purples, pinks, yellows, peach, greens. Not too many yellows though. Well, we have a few like right here, but. Okay, let's take it out. I'm gonna let you see, check those out. Look at those beautiful colors. And beautiful, they are beautiful. I hope I like them because the colors are absolutely beautiful. They have a name and a number. I am gonna sharpen these pencils and let's see, are they in order by one? Let me look at the swatch chart because that way I won't have to. Yeah, so they have, they're numbered from 01 to 048. I am going to sharpen all these pencils and put them in order that way because I'm lazy. You guys know I don't like to swatch, but I have my page ready. I could just swatch them out and don't have to put a name or anything. I could just swatch them out and one is for one. So be back. Okay, I'm back. I have them all sharpened and ready to go. I am so excited. These colors are beautiful and they seem pretty soft because I just kind of threw one in the <clears throat> in the uh, tin and I broke the tip on it that easy. So they seem pretty soft. They sharpen really, really easy. It literally took me, yeah, I know I'm using um, an electric sharpener, but they literally took me five minutes to sharpen. Sharpen, and they are in order. I did not have to put them in order, which rock. And this is number 001. This is White Orchid. 
we're gonna this is the first one we're gonna swatch out and it's so nice because they're in order under the tin just really nice and i should have grabbed my other castle arts so we can compare them i could still grab them but we're gonna go ahead and swatch them out this is number two. It is written in white on the pencil, so the really light pencils, the first two, was kind of hard to see, but you can still pretty much make it out. This is Mimosa, another light color. I am super excited. The color go down very easy. But I'm just excited, a wax pencil. Because so many pencils that are coming out were or um, oil, saffron number three. So I was really excited that these are wax. And I can tell I'm gonna like them already because they're so soft. Like they are really, really soft. Four, it is, there's a name, there's a number. I'm gonna wait till I get to a color so you can see. This is Magnolia number four. And after I finish Magnolia, I'll grab a dark color so you can see the name, the number, the writing, and all that jazz. Okay, so we're on number five, but I'm gonna pick up this I'll pick up this color. As you see on one side, I have Castle Arts, Pearl Tint, Pastel Tint. I don't know why I want to call them Pearl Tint, but Pastel Tint. And on the other side, I have 008 PT for Pearl for Pastel Tint. And I have the color Coral Blush. So that's a really nice pencil. It's not too thin. It's almost really, it's like just right, in my opinion. And this is our next pencil. It is number five. The color is Rosa. They are pretty soft, which I like, but they are keeping their point, the tip, because you know, I will break them off because I'm very heavy handed but it's keeping the, I'm not popping it off. So <laughs> that's a good thing. We're on number six. And this one is Almond Rose. And they also have another new set out is the metallic, but I didn't want the metallic set because I just bought the Derwent Anniversary box set, the metallics. But pastels, you know I had to have it. Number seven, this is Petunia Pink. This is more of an orange. So you have your little array of orange and yellows. Our next color is number eight, Coral Blush. And that's the one I just showed you. Pretty colors. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. Our next pencil is number nine, Blushing Rose. Pretty, pretty color. Our next color is, I don't know, I can't even pronounce that. Amaralis, Amaralis. Amaralis, Amaralis. Number 10 is Amaralis. That's what I'm gonna call it. And it is a beautiful color. And no, I didn't, you know, I opened them with you guys. 
So I had no idea of all the colors and all of that stuff. Next color is Fox Glove. It's a pretty, pretty pink. Uh-oh. I gotta erase that. I went down too far. It's probably one of your softer pastel sets. Let me grab an eraser. <clears throat> as far as the pencil itself being pretty, you know, really soft. They are $34.99. I will leave the link below. And we're on 12. That's 11. It's number 12. So the price to me, in my opinion, this is my opinion, for 48 pencils, I classify Castle Art as, Arts as budget friendly, but $34.99, I paid $37 and some change with tax for 48 pencils. To that was a bit on the pricey side to me, in my opinion. This is Snow Waffle, another beautiful pink. Oh, that's pretty, 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 pretty. These colors are amazing. Our next color is Carnation, a nice skin tone almost. You could definitely use this to create some skin. If you guys have any questions, please leave them below. These are new pencils, so I will answer it to the best of my ability. Again, they are wax. This is Cream Rose, number 15 which I am ecstatic about. Next color is Apricot Twist, number 16. And I like that they're in order for you already. I didn't have to put them in order and go around and look for them. They are in order in the 10, which I think it's super cool, you know, for us lazy people. <laughs> Next color is Candy Tuft, Candy Tuft, T-U-F-T, -T, Candy Tuft. You gonna focus camera? Number 17, okay, Candy. It's a beautiful color. It's a nice creamy, dark cream, light, light beige color. Next color is Inca Gold. It is number 18. Our next color is Begonia. And it is number 19, a beautiful, beautiful green, the begonia. Next color, we have lots of greens, which I'm, ecstat I'm ecstatic about. Cowslip, <laughs> cowslip. Okay, number 20. Another beautiful green, really light. Yes. We have five greens. If, if it, it may have another green, six greens. The next color is sunflower. Number 21, yeah. Just wanna make sure I'm swatching in the right spot. Okay, our next color is number 22, Juniper Lime. Okay. 
Next color is Daylily number 23. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, and we're almost halfway through. Savannah is our next color, number 24. I'm ready to get to the purples and the blues. Okay, that was Savannah. All right, and that was our first tray. We're going to make it to our second tray, and I'm just going to give you another quick look. Pass through them right quick. And we have two greens on the back. So this set have, uh, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost ten shades of <clears throat> different shades of green. And this is hard to see on this bright lime coral. I can't really make the color. At, oh, I can look. Lime coral is number twenty-five. So if you can't see, you can, they're in order. You can look on a 10 because everything is in order for you, which is really cool. Really cool. That's our lime coral. Our next color is jasmine number 26. The yellows and some of the greens are hard to see because they're written in white. This is number 26, a bright color, pretty. All right. Next we have number 27, really easy to see this one. It is a green flower. Our next color is Angelica, number 20, 29, uh -oh. 27, okay. All right, next color is Ferrari. Ferrari, number 28. Oh, it's pretty. Probably mispronouncing it. Sorry for that. All right, next color, number 29, is Angelica. Our next color is Bayberry, number 30. Uh-oh, there we go. <laughs> I had to break one. This next color is Jade, and it is beautiful. <clears throat> it's not your typical Jade, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, it's a beautiful blue. Really, really pretty. Right, our next color is Periwinkle. Now, Periwinkle is one of my favorite colors. This color on this pencil is not Periwinkle. Well, in my eyes, what I'm used to seeing as Periwinkle, no. This is a bright blue. But they could choose whatever names they want for their colors. I love it, even though it's not Periwinkle. Winkle, I still love it. Um... Delphinium is the next color, number 33. It's a beautiful color. I don't know who named these pencils, because honey, some of these names, but I think it's a Delphinium, a flower? That could be a flower. It sounds like a flower, because I know they had what? Is Amaryllis a flower? The weird names. Carnation, um, Begonia, Cowsnip, I think that's a cowslip, I think that's a um, flower, Daylily. 
It's a lot of flowers. Hydrangea, a bluebell. Yeah, lots of flowers. So I'm thinking that's the name of a flower. This is Blue Poppy, number 34. So you get lots of flower names. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful light blue. Awesome. <clears throat> Next color is Blue Daisy. Now, Blue Daisy is number 35. Now, this is the color that I would call periwinkle. Yes, I would call this periwinkle. It's beautiful. All of the colors are beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it. Blue Mist, number 36. Hear a little background noise. My neighbor decides to cut grass when everyone wants to sit out. Lobella. Yeah, Lobella. Belia, Lobelia, Lobelia, L O B E L I A. Probably mispronouncing it. Now, honey, you know, after this, I'm going to go Google these names. <laughs> Google the names Bluebell. I think Bluebell is a flower. Sorry, someone's riding a horse. <laughs> My coloring room, it's right by the road, which if I've known what I've known. Larkspur, a beautiful color. Number 39. I would have put my room, I would have took the middle room for my um, coloring room. I'm not gonna call it a coloring room anymore. I need to say my craft room. Now we're getting to the purples and some more pinks. We even have a few grays. This is Heather, number 41. Okay, where's number 40? Okay, okay, a little out of order, but that's okay. I'll just have to, it was just two that was out of order. I don't mind that. So we're on number 40, that's 41. Okay, beautiful purple. Yep, 40. I don't mind putting two pencils in order because usually you have to put them all in order. All right. Our next color, number 41, it is Heather. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next color is Wisteria. Beautiful purples. If you're a purple person, these purples are gorgeous. We have another purple. It is number 43, Tickle Pink, even though it's purple. <laughs> it's tickle Pink. Well, it's like a Huh. I don't know. I would still call it purple. It's like in the pink purple family. A little in between. If pink and purple had a baby. Camilla, number 44. This is definitely pink. And of course, we're gonna do the erase test, blend test, the water test, jelly bean number 45. We're gonna do all that business right after this. 
I just wanted to swatch them so you guys can see the color of what they would actually look like on paper. Okay. Pearl? Pearl? I don't know. <laughs> it's a beautiful color. I know that. And it's number 46. So when you buy your set, check out number 46. It's beautiful. All right. We have two more and that's our grays. It is number 47 is Winterberry. Nice light gray. And the last gray is Peach Rose, which it is a gray. And this is number 48. It is very, very light, but I love grays. Love, love, love grays. I never thought I would say that, but I've told you guys recently how I like grays. And when a set have a lot of grays, I'm really happy about it. I'm really happy about the two grays. I like the colors. They're really light. That peach um, rose. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let me pan you up. Not too far because I want you to see the colors. Really nice. Nice colors. Beautiful. I love the colors. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Let me get my Joanna Bassford um, test book. We're gonna put this to the side. I did not buy a case for them because I don't know if I'm gonna like them. I'm not gonna really color anything. I just wanna see what they feel like on the paper. I'm gonna bring you down. I just wanna see what they feel like on paper, like coloring the paper. <clears throat> Let me get the swatch short and see what colors I need to pull. Let's see. Let's see about blending. Um, let's see. I want 46, 42, and 43. Um, is this 43? 46, 42. And 43. They're all the purples, the three purples. They were not right on side of each other. Okay, I got a water brush, my towel. You know, we have to check the water with them. We have to do an erase test and the blend test. So let's get started. I guess I'll color this little flower right here. Just see. I bring it down a lot so you can see what I'm doing close as I can bring you without hitting you. I'm just putting a light layer. I'm just testing it out, guys. This is lighter. Let's go with this color. Sorry about the silence. That's why I don't often do color in chats. All right, I'm gonna go back over it with this lighter purple and try to smooth it out. And it definitely smooths out and blends together real nice. And I did the opposite. I went from light to dark, which is 
a little unusual, but I wanted to see how they would all blend together if I did that. All right, let me try and blend it. The darker color. Oh, they blend, guys. They blend really, really nice. Okay, they blend nice. Even though I, I colored the smallest little flower in the history of flowers, they blend really nice, but I'm just gonna blend them right here so you can kind of see. They just blend really easy for me right there. And this is how I blend. I don't, you know, you may blend different from me, but this is how I do it. So, you know, we're all different. We all ha have different coloring styles. And this is my style. So it doesn't make my style right or wrong because it's different. And they have blended together already. And we're gonna add another color. We're gonna go back over those two. And we're gonna add that dark color at the end. And they just blend like they blend they they just blend together. And I'm gonna go back over it with the lightest color. They just blend together. They just blend. Maybe we're gonna try another color. Just maybe it's just those purples are just so perfect together. Let's try, let me get the swatch book. Let's try number 33, number, that's a little too blue, but I think that would work. That would really test the blending capability. We're gonna do 33, 27, Thirty-three, twenty-seven, and twenty-eight. So thirty-three. It's like blues and greens, but I want to just see twenty-seven and twenty-eight. I just want to see what kind of what they could do, what they're working with. So I'm gonna start with my lightest color. I went a little hard when I started. Let me erase some of that because I went a little too hard. Okay, so there went our erase test. They erase well. <laughs> they erase very well. All right, yeah, they erase well. So this is our lighter color. Okay, we're gonna go with this color. These colors are really all so different, but I just wanted to see if I could possibly blend these different colors together. And we'll see what we get. Hopefully we won't get a muddy mess. And we have this darker color we're gonna put down here. Uh-oh, got you out of frame. Okay, so we have three different colors. I'm gonna go back to my lightest color and see can I blend them all together. And they blend all together. So these are if you're a person that loves to blend your, these are definitely pencils for blending. I want to put them back in the right order. What's this? 29, 
Let's see, that one goes there. I'm just putting my pencils back in order, guys. 46, 42, and 43. Okay, so we, even though I've tested the whole erase thing, we're gonna erase again. They erase like a dream, like picking up all the pigment. So the erase test, they pass. Let's wet them and see if they're going to run. Okay, I'm gonna draw my brush. Let's see if they're gonna run. They are definitely moving with water. Almost like a watercolor pencil. Let's put a little bit more water. Almost like a watercolor pencil. I mean, I'm picking it up, moving it all around. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I mean, I like it. <clears throat> these beautiful colors I would love if I could move them like and use them like watercolor pencils yeah I'm picking up definitely picking the pigment up so they definitely move with water <clears throat> but these are nice pencils I like I like them my first impression on them is I like them this is the beautiful colors I just want to share with you again. I've swatched all of them out. There we go. This is the first tray of them. And this is your second tray. Beautiful pencils. I like them. I'll give them... Just off the colors and how they blend, um, how they erase. They definitely pass in my book. They definitely get a passing grade in my book. And I could pick up the, the tray and the pencils are not spilling everywhere. So the tray is a little bit thicker than normal. It's not that much thicker than normal, but it's a better tray than what you would normally get. I love that the names and the numbers are on the pencil and on the top of the lid of the tin, and they're in order. I like that. I like these pencils. They are $34.99. I'm going to leave you the link below for you to go and purchase them if you want to. I like them. At first, I was like, that's a lot of money for 48 pencils, but... After using them and they blend the way they blend, I would pay $37 again for them. If you have any questions, guys, um, comment below. This set also came with a very nice swatch sheet. It's not like that piece of paper you usually get. You have a tutorial book. Um just showing you like with the shading and with a little bit of everything this little book is really cool um you have your color wheel there um just really cool really cool and the smell is <laughs> the smell is amazing you it came with just a lot it came with a lot of different pamphlets you have this pamphlet that I think it teaches you how to draw the fairy queen. Yeah. How to color a fairy queen in all the in six different steps. Really cool. You have your Castle Arts guide with all of their products. And you have a Castle Arts Club little pamphlet. Guys. Thank you for watching. Comment below if you have any questions. The link below for these pencils. Check it out if you want to purchase them. I like them. They blend easy. That's enough for me. The colors are amazing. They do move with water. So if that's your thing or not, you know, they're just letting you know they move with water. Guys, thank you for watching. I love them. I'll give them...
I'm not going to give them a grade until I use them on a picture. So maybe tomorrow I might go live and use them in a picture. We'll see. But just look forward to it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.